Okay, hello everybody. This is Mike here again. So I'm gonna do a quick update on my line falling programming testing with the DF robot McQueen Plus. So I had a few issues last time and I think I figured them out. Actually, it's pretty simple. Uh, kind of sort of embarrassing for a programmer, but I'll show you the, how to fix a, how, what issue I had. So hopefully you won't have it and test demo the robot again. Uh, should go pretty quick. So as usual, I'm going to share my screen. And bring up make code. So let's see if we can show all of it here. Yeah, that's it. So as before, I have everything in a forever loop. <clears throat> this is the code fixed. So the robot's working a lot better now. Um, let me show you what I did. It's a lot easier to see in JavaScript. Yeah, let's do that there. So let's flip it over to JavaScript. So this is the this was the code that was having a little bit of problems last time. And basically what I did is I accidentally put the uh, sometimes you gotta be careful when you're using the blocks, but I put the if statement, my, my second if statement underneath the else. I actually put it underneath uh, this first if statement right here. So what was happening is it wasn't getting uh, it wasn't getting checked. Is if this is not true, then you don't check this one. So if you go back to blocks, you got to be really careful. And you got to put it under the else, not under the if, if that makes sense. So see how this else statement, and then you got this if, and that plus basically ends the if. And then you've got the next if with the plus. And then when you look at it in JavaScript, it makes more sense. There's your else. There's your if. There's your first if check. Then when you complete, if that one is not true, then you go to the next one and check and see if that is true. And then you go back to the, uh, the top. So like I said before, I had this if statement, the second if statement actually underneath the uh, first if statement and then else. So that's why it wasn't working uh, clockwise. So let me, I've already downloaded the program to my robot. Hope this makes sense. I already downloaded the ro uh, program to my robot, McQueen. So let me put it down and start him up. Make sure you put the R1 and L1 sensors on top of the black line. Uh, I think my cat's trying to ponder whether I attack it or not.
It's actually doing pretty good. If you can see the whatever, yeah. So that's the issue I keep having. It will. So that's one of the things I need to fix and try to improve on. So, so that was clockwise. Let me do it counterclockwise. See uh, if we get the same results. Not too bad so far. Yep, then it does the, then it loses it. So I've noticed when I'm playing around with it and testing it, that if you don't position it just right on the line, it uh, will veer off and or it'll lose the line. And then it always seems to go for a while, like you see on both both longer attempts, it seems to go for a while, then just kind of like lose its place. So like I was mentioning before, it actually has six total line falling sensors. I can show you there, I can stop sharing my screen. So it actually has six line falling sensors, so maybe I can, I'm working on trying to make it smarter and play, uh, messing around with the testing and so on to see if I can get it to work it just a little bit better. So, but the initial issue I was having where uh, clockwise and counterclockwise are always working together, or actually counterclockwise wasn't working. Uh, I've got that fixed. So at least it can follow if you position it correctly on the line. So my next, my next step is to try to use some of the other sensors to make it more accurate. Uh, and then test it out on things other than circles and so on. So very cool. So I just want to quickly show that uh, I'm furthering the testing and improving the robot, making it a little bit better. So the code you see on the screen now is the code that uh, is working, or at least working a lot better. Uh, so very cool. Um, so like I said, this is just a continuing series of uh, testing and improving the line following capabilities of the McQueen Plus by DF Robot. If you have any suggestions or any ideas or so on, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them if I can. Uh, and then between now and the next video, I will work on uh, improving uh, the line following of the robot. Let me stop sharing my screen. So, yeah, so you can see. There's actually six total sensors, one here on the outside, each outside edge, there, there, and there. They're actually uh, R3, L3, and then there's a, these four right here. Uh, and it's, uh, of course, it's R1, R2, and R, and L1, L, L2. And you can act, you can reference them all in your program, so on. So I'll keep working on it, proving on it, making it better, and very cool. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.